this amount of investment in things that we know work to keep people safe. I mean, for a lot of folks in our community, stable housing is a safety issue. Having access to healthcare is a safety issue. And so having, you know, I think one thing folks are asking is oh, to stop investing so oh, yeah. much money in this militarized police force and instead invest in the things that our community really needs. So, you know, I know the statement was bold and I, I stand by that bold statement, but the work ahead of us will be long. It will include every member of our community. It has to. And, you know, I think we have very immediate things. We have a state action against our police department, which gives us legal mechanisms in the very short term. You know, there's lessons from all over the country, all over the world that we're looking to yeah. um, to take immediate steps while we work toward building the systems that we would need to imagine that that future. Do you understand that the word dismantle or police free also makes some people nervous? For instance, what if in the middle of the night my home is broken into? Who do I call? Yes, I mean, I, I hear that loud and clear from a lot of my neighbors. And I know, and, and myself too, and I know that that comes from a place of privilege because for those of us for whom the system is working, I think we need to step back and imagine what it would feel like to already live in that reality where calling the police may mean more harm is done. And so in the very immediate, we have to lean into whatever changes we can make in our existing police department. You know, I think we look to cities like Camden, New Jersey that completely restructured their department as we build up systems. And we've already done that. We, have, we are not starting from scratch. We have invested in community-based safety strategies. We have knowledge in our community across the city We've done an analysis of all the reasons people call 911 and have looked at ways we can shift the response away from armed police officers into a more appropriate response for mental health calls, um, for some domestic violence calls, for um, health-related issues. And so the groundwork is laid already in Minneapolis for us to, to build on that, to learn from folks around the world, but really also to listen to our community and put those community voices front and center as we build up those systems even further. On a political point, as a Democrat, are you worried that you have just handed President Trump a great talking point or slogan or battle cry for his reelection to be able